Hi, this is Suze 11 Tarot Libra. I'm going to do your reading today. And uh, let's see what happened. Uh, yesterday I was doing, let's see, I finished with Capricorn. And in those readings, a bunch of lions came out. So, um, so I asked, what is it? And then, so uh, the lions, uh, there's a new moon in Leo coming in on the 8th of August. I think it was the 8th of August. And uh, so, and that is supposed to uh, help assist the energy to uh, reach for what you love, okay? All right, so let's see Libra. So let's do August. And uh, let's say August love reading, but let's see what pops up. Okay. So what should we read with? Okay. Okay, well, since we're air here, let's do these little guys here. See what comes up. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Spark of happiness. Ooh, mentor a younger person. Okay. I get the feeling that you're already doing that. <laughs> so let's pick another one. Okay. Pat yourself on the back. Write down three recent accomplishments, big or small. Ooh, I like that. Put Pat yourself on the back. Write down three recent accomplishments, big or small. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Okay, yeah, appreciating the small and big things. All things. Okay, here we go, Libra. Libra, August. Okay, so we're going, we're going for the things we love and bringing that into a physical experience. Okay, love message, anything that needs to come out in August for Libra, Libra Collective. Okay, um, okay, I see uh, several scenarios. Okay, so, um, okay, so there's a Leo that you were interested for one, uh, for another, um, there was a, a Taurus. see that card here okay so maybe they're just harnessing the energy of Taurus okay and water sign uh, someone harnessing the Aries energy and I think that's you Libra to get through okay all right so we started off with seven of wands, okay, and eight of swords reversed. Okay, so you had to kind of 
um, stand in your own strength and kind of protect yourself from certain energies uh, and needing to regain energy to uh, keep moving okay all right so you were in the nine of wands energy okay okay so gathering strength yep okay gathering strength okay to I don't see this as a uh, as a person that you you were trying to uh, have a relationship with but what I do get is it was someone younger perhaps for one of you okay and what I get with this is that you are trying to get gather your chi fire within to kind of uh, move that energy to uh, turn the wheel your cycle okay because um, some of you went back uh, to a past relationship and uh, and then decided it wasn't gonna work after all okay ace of wands and the empress okay so okay oh yeah we're doing August so okay so August now we're able to pull in okay that energy to pull your uh, abundance in okay okay and uh, okay if there was a, a particular career that wasn't going so well it's gonna start improving major improvements there okay and uh, okay love okay yeah balancing that love within self right and then uh, when we can do that that kind of shows up in our uh, physical reality okay so two of pinnacles no two of cups and six of pinnacles okay wanting to work on it okay so okay we got water sign okay now uh, there for some reason <clears throat> oh the the starfish okay all right the emperor and the knight of swords i see this as your energy in august to uh go after your dreams and desires and okay so uh right so the leo and new moon and the eighth okay i don't think you're gonna wait till then it looks like it's coming sooner than that uh, I think you're already working on it now, okay? You got your buns in the fire. <laughs> okay, and then guess what? Ta-da! The star card. Okay, I see this as you in your element. <laughs> okay, that looks wonderful. Okay, August. Okay, looking good, okay? If it makes you feel any better, I don't think you were alone in that energy. I think many people were going through that um, as I was doing different readings. Um, but uh, the cycle is changing. And uh, the key is to move in self-awareness. If we are aware of ourselves, then as a collective, we can shift the energy. Um, and if we don't um, understand, then it may cause us to keep moving in the same energy which is okay too you know it just depends do we want to go with faster momentum or do we want to go with slower momentum okay all right so and then obviously we all decided slower momentum and then the C thing happened which was really needed because I feel like um, you know we that gave us time to reassess our um, our energy okay now Let's see, I want to go into the creative cards. I'm just going to pick three. All right, let's see. Yeah, I was going to do some other cards, but I think these are the ones that would... 
resonate this morning. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes and pick three here when I get the impulse. All right, let's take a look at this. Okay, nurture for self-care. Try loving and nurturing yourself as you would a child or a pet. Okay, I think this goes this way. When I look at the tarot cards, it should have gone probably this way. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, all right, and seed. Okay, so um, this was the past energy okay uh things were going really slow you felt like it says confront the natural tendency to delay the finishing of a creative endeavor okay all right well see this is the thing when we've got personal things going on and okay let's say it's love okay and then you're going through uh certain things you know um then that that can affect uh any kind of creative thing or or work thing you know so um, it, so that's I'm saying that that's natural that that happened okay so but moving forward we can uh, pay attention to what we give our energy to okay all right nurture for self-care try loving and nurturing yourself as you would a child or a pet Okay, I like that. <laughs> I really like that one. Okay, because I feel like one Libra here does have a uh, dog. Okay, and okay, so let's pull this one out. Okay, so okay, see love here, and it looks like you are moving ahead without the person a little bit here today. That's how I'm reading this today. Okay, and um, and see how it flows here. Look at that. I love these cards. Okay, see how it just kind of flows here? Okay, so go with the flow. Okay, could be a motto. Go with the flow. Okay, and um, this is, it could be uh, that tarot card, like feeling left out in the cold from a lover, or it could be uh, anything, work, or it, it could be anything here. Okay. But see, it seems like children are a theme uh, recently. So, all right. So here, look, she's trying to light the fire, okay? So that's kind of what we are doing in the uh, tarot reading, okay? Trying to get that, that fire within you going again. Okay. All right. Maybe feeling, um, yeah, okay seed having intention to grow like a seed and bloom is at the heart of creativity okay all right oh look okay this is so cute okay look see how this is you okay but i feel like you're a man but let's just say this is you okay and you have children or something but you could be a woman with the child or they could, this could uh represent the empress energy wanting to birth uh birthing the the um you know your prosperity okay Okay, and okay, so the angels, okay, see this, this ribbon? It's like the, the, you're trying to flow, and the angels are throwing the, uh, pulling the, the, the cord in, going, come on, let's go this, the, this way, okay? And um, trying to uh, go from here to a brighter future. Look at that. It's colorful, but look. Okay, 
So, okay, and that is, wow, it's interesting. Okay, so it's a peacock feather, but it looks like fabric of the universe. Okay. All right. So you're going to be like that beautiful butterfly flying. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. There you go, Libra. Thank you for joining me.